Hey everyone, uh, welcome to another interview. Uh, today we have special guests here. Uh, we have Matush and Andre from NGS. Uh, can you guys introduce yourself? We are Night Gear Solutions. We are a fairly small company from Slovak Republic. We are neighbors to you. Uh, we build night vision devices. We build custom night vision devices for professional and civilian, civilian use. Our main goal is to make night vision available for everyone or anyone. And basically we would like to build or create well-educated community of night vision users or enthusiasts um, by doing, for example, free of charge presentations, public presentations or private presentations, shooting ranges and airsoft events to, to spread the word like our gospel <laughs> to everyone. Who, who we can reach. Uh, if you were to uh, explain in uh, simple terms, how do NVGs work? Well, uh, first of all, there's, uh, there's digital and then there's analog night vision. The mainly for tactical purposes, we use the analog night vision because it, this one, uh, the analog technology can amplify the ambient or residual light. Also, it's important to say that night vision works in the infrared spectrum of the light, which you cannot see with your naked eye. It has image intensifier tube inside, which is filled with multi-alkaline gases or gallium arsenide, depending on the generation. And it has, uh, inside, but it basically takes the lights you have uh, during night, for example, stars, the moonlight, the street light and it amplifies it up to let's say uh, 60 70 thousand times so uh, it does not it's not some a magic box you know that creates the light and you will see in in total darkness now in total darkness you will have no image at all you will have only the noise inside it needs some light to work with so let's say for example if we were in a dark room with no windows we would see nothing in layman's terms, uh, NVGs just grab the light that is already there and they boost it, right? Yes. yes. And uh, turning to um, Gray Zone, uh, what are your initial thoughts? You just played around with it a bit, you had a chance to have a look at it. Uh, what are your initial thoughts, your initial feelings about uh, our representation of NVGs in the game? Yeah, we basically love it. Yeah, um, <laughs> I, I mean it. Uh, it's not 100%. It will. Never ever you can make something 100% when it's 2D, it's on a screen, not even in the VR or something like it. But we, we totally love it. We love how the NVG feels. Uh, I think you guys managed to do impressive work because the night vision technology is not simple and it's not simple to replicate. Here the night vision amplifies light. Here the night vision works as night vision is supposed to work. Yeah, it's, we are very impressed and we are very glad to, to be yeah, able to help. I, I just like how you can feel even through the keyboard and mouse and the screen, like you feel you have some device yeah, in yeah, front yeah. of you. I've never seen anything like this in a game before, when obviously I'm used to the real life NVGs. And I was, I think when we tested it, I was running the PBS 14s. And I don't know how, but it was it was so close to the real life feeling. I know it may sound weird, but it was. I, I felt like my in-game character had the PBS 14. And then he had a gun and then was the environment. That's, I think, maybe because, mainly because uh, the night vision game in Grace and Warfare is not just a filter on screen. It's, it's like a real device, which, yeah. which a player will have in, in use and that's that's perfect because I think that's the only way the the night vision game can be so immersive. Mm -hmm. uh, we really try to tell you guys about the IR laser, like using it as a some as sort a of floodlight, for example. Yeah, floodlight. Yes, uh, because so it's uh, so it lights up a room for you and you don't need to use flashlight. Uh, when we uh, first showed off the Night Ops uh, demonstration, some people reacted to the way how the <clears throat> weapons looked and how aiming ADSing looked in the game. Uh, it's really blurry. Is that how it is in real life? Yes, yes. Uh, uh, it's because uh, the night visions, the night vision devices have really shallow depth of field. And in general, uh, for tactical use, 
we focused the night vision to infinity. It's the infinity setting, which means I can see everything from, let's say, two and a half meters up to the infinity, uh, very clearly, very sharp, but everything within those, those meet, two meters, it's blurry. And that's something why the, the night users, night vision users need a lot of practice, you know, from something as simple as press checks or changing magazines, because you cannot really see your gear. Mm -hmm. It's all blurry, yeah? With all this information, um, what do you consider big, the biggest challenge of translating the realism of NVGs into games? Um, it's 2D, a part of it. The biggest thing for us, like we had to deal with this, is the FOV and field of view and how you how you see it. Because you really don't see anything with your eyes. I, I know we like, uh, we like to say we see this with our eyes now, we see it with the brain because the image is created in the brain. And uh, there's the faux issue, field of view issue. Basic, your, basically your night vision with 18 millimeter uh, IIT and some kind of basic or mil spec optics, you have, let's, let's say, 40 degrees of field of view. Yeah, uh, that's, that's the basic. Then there are yeah, the 50 yeah. ones. That, you can have, you, it can differ, but let's say it's 40. It will be easier for us. A human generally sees 90, 90 degrees. And if you have 40 degrees, okay, it's easy to create PVS 14 or monocu any, any kind of monocular night vision. Because yeah, I have 40. I can see like this much. It's okay. Then comes uh, the binocular. And this is the tricky part, because, yeah, here I see 40, stay with 40, here I see 40, yes, I see 80, no, you don't see 80, because it all depends on uh, individual interpupillary distance, like distance between your eyes, and in it all interlenses, I believe is the term. Interpolates. You don't, you don't, yeah, interpolates. Uh, you don't see like 80, you see somewhere between, let's say, 55 to, 65, 75, this is really not to be generalized uh, because everyone is different. And then, if we, we dealt with this, and then the pseudo-binocular, uh, pseudo-binocular, Bi yeah, or, or bi-ocular, bi -ocular, bi -ocular, it's called, the PVS-7, which is one optics, but you can see with two eyes, and you can change the interpupillary distance, and now create this. Like, it, it is the basic, the, 40 degree, only one tube, one objective, and you have to some somehow you have to implement it in a game where it simply cannot have only the 40 degree. It has the 40 degree, but your your brain really doesn't uh, like receive it like 40 degree. It's really hard. So yes, this uh, this was really the biggest challenge, I think, technical. We or all of your guys also had to feel it. We went out, we went to the forest to walk. You have to feel it because if you turn this on, you don't see like like with monocular, but you, you really don't see more than 40 degree of field of view. So yeah, this was, the field of view is the hardest part. So you already mentioned uh, using IRs as floodlights, um, as like one of the things that you kind of brought to us. Yeah. Uh, is there anything else that you could uh, remember that, like, uh, we had like a oh right moment uh, while you were explaining something to us? Can you remember when we were walking in the forest and we showed you, uh, like, okay, this is NVG, this is what you see with NVG. I had a Helicon Patriot on me, uh, like the jacket, and it's it's tan. He's uh, he has a Ranger green one, and you could see the white. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, that's like yeah, the material effect. used the, for example, the leaves of the trees, mm -hmm. they, they reflect the light. So they are not dark. They are, yeah. they're basically white or, right. you know, the bright uh, night vision. What impact do you think NVGs will have on uh, the immersion the gameplay? Will it add tension to the game? Um, it, it should completely change how the firefights are are dealt with because now you have another factor like visibility in the game what NVG does he have can he see me can I run with laser and pack everything or enemy can see me it's a whole new system of thinking implemented in the game it's not just like some shiny gadget thing like this is nice to have and mm -hmm. I can flex with it 
No. How do you find the collaboration with us so far? Mm, I think it's great. Uh, as I said, as we were talking before, uh, I was the one that contacted Mara mm -hmm. about, hello, can we help you with this? Because we are like real... Oh, poor Mara's inbox. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> we are real uh, FPS genre enthusiasts. We just like to play FPS in our free time and we Based on what we do, we sell, we build NVGs, uh, we love to use NVGs in games. And this was like the opportunity for us to create something maybe more like create or help creating something that we can give to the community that, that, uh, that aligns with our vision to make it more affordable or like everyone can use it as realistically as possible, even in game. So that's why we are so happy that the NVGs are so realistic in this game. I, I just love this style of communication mm. partnership. And thank you everyone for watching. Hopefully you've learned something today. Uh, see you in the night ops and every move matters.